So what's up everybody? Uh, Jacob here, Dirt Rider 22. Got a little product review for you. This is the helmet hook. It's the name of it, the helmet hook. Now I purchased one of these out of my own pocket a few months ago and I've had it on my KLR. I'll show you that in a minute. It does have a hole through it. You can lock or put a lock on it if you desire. I don't bother. Um, but nonetheless, it's a still a great product. Um, what we're going to be doing today is not only showing off the helmet hook, but we're also going to be testing it, uh, testing its durability. And uh, we'll get to that a little later in the form of a drop test. And uh, prior to doing that, we're going to take some photos with the bike on the ground. And we're going to see if this thing even makes contact with the ground um, or not. I don't know yet. I haven't even tried. So uh, we'll get to that momentarily. Um, installation is very easy. On the KLR, I still have the factory uh, bar end weights. Uh, most road bikes in stock form will have some kind of bar end weight. And that bar end weight's uh, rather long, uh, at least an inch and a half or so. So on the KLR, I'm confident that if it hits the ground, that the helmet hook will probably never even make contact with the ground uh, unless you drop it in deep sand, perhaps. Um, However, if you're running a wraparound handguard, or if for some reason you're running no bar weight, you just have it straight on the end, uh, you know, it's probably going to hit. And that's what we're going to find out in this test. So I will show you uh, my setup on the KLR, and then we will dive into laying this bike down and seeing if it even makes contact. And then after that, we're going to set up slow motion camera just zoomed in right on the ground and we will drop the bike so that this entire area hand guard handlebar and helmet hook comes into frame and we can see it in slow motion and see what exactly happens uh, when this if if this makes contact with the ground uh, to be honest i don't think it's going to uh, even with this thinner uh, wraparound hand guard however it's only one way to find out so let's get to it and before we go any further, here is my setup on the KLR. I've removed the washer that uh, comes included with the helmet hook so that I can have it spin. Uh, it just sometimes makes it easier with this very large bar weight to get the, the uh, D-loop on the helmet in here if I have the ability to uh, wiggle it around a little bit. Um, not as big of a problem on the KLX. Uh, I, I can tighten down the bar end weight so that it is holding snow. It's just a decision I've you know chose to make, but uh, easy installation on, on both bikes. Alright, so as you can see from the pictures, uh, the helmet hook definitely in this particular application uh, makes contact with the ground. And then as you can see in the slow motion footage, um, stood up fine. I would say that it's probably going to withstand 99% of, of tip overs. I mean, there might be a very certain situation where it maybe cracks or breaks but um, it is it is very strong while at the same time being um, quite flexible and I don't know if we can see that like it, it is flexible material but at the same time it's very thick very sturdy um, I will point out that it is my understanding that it is not warranted to be unbreakable or to withstand crashes or tip overs, but uh, I will definitely say in my experience that it is going to stand up to, like I said, 99% of all of its tip overs. Um, I, I just do not see it breaking. I see it flexing and bending a little bit, and then when the bar hits, that being it, and then 
um, crashes, I would expect it to hold up pretty well through some crashes. Um, granted, you know, crashes, there's a lot more variability than a tip over. Um, you know, are you on the road, are you on the dirt? Did you high side, did you low side? Was you going 20, was you going 50? Um, so yeah, definitely, by no means, not unbreakable, I don't think. Uh, not built to go to the moon or nothing, but that's okay, because it doesn't have to. All it has to do is hold your helmet, and uh, it does that perfectly.